G'day everyone, welcome to another fishing adventure. I'm Giddo and today we're at a beautiful sheltered cove on the south coast of Western Australia. Um, the plan is catch some squid, southern calamari they're called here, and some King George whiting. I've never fished this spot before, so we're going to get ready, cast a line in, see what happens, catch something, cook it for dinner, stay the night and just enjoy this uh, beautiful location. So let's get our fishing gear ready and get stuck into it. All right, all rigged up, ready to go. I've got a squid set up, which is a Ocean's Legacy Dreamcast Squid Seeker rod. We have a Daiwa TD Soul 3000 and I've got six pound line on there. I am going to change that line at some stage, probably more to 12 pound. I think it suits the reel a bit better. And the fishing outfit rather than the squidding outfit is Ocean's Legacy Quest rod. Daiwa Cert 8 4000, 15 pound Taz line. I've got a little jig on there at the moment that I'm going to try out and we will make a bait rig for it or flick some plastics with it or whatever. We'll mix it up. So let's start casting. I might go try catch a squid from somewhere else because it's not it's not that good right there right now. Let's try this little metal slice. This is a um, micro jig from Motion's Legacy. I haven't tried it yet, but um, let's see how we go. Oh, fish. Oh, yep, yep. Fish, come on. Second cast on the micro jig. Gave it a little jiggle out there. What are we going to have? I have a feeling it's going to be a rasp, but I really hope it isn't. Be King George Whiting, that'd be amazing. What is it? There's a rasp. <laughs> of course it is. And away it goes. Oh, right, we caught a fish on the micro jig. Uh, I might walk around the corner and try for squid. Whew. Wobbly. So this rock kind of looks like it was meant to be fished. I got no idea of water depth, but um, when fishing for squid, you want to get it down deep, close to the bottom, but you don't want to get stuck and I'm only fishing six pounds. So let's see how we go. Do I have a couple of backup jigs, but this one's not cheap. I don't want to lose it. There we go. That's a squid. We're on.
Oh, that might be a cuttlefish. It did feel a little bit different. What do we got? Cuttlefish tastes good as well. Cutly. I'll take it. These things still taste good. There we go. I caught something. It's a um, cuttlefish and they taste brilliant just like squid. A bit thicker. Whoa. Oh, oh, he's trying to grab me. I'm scared of him. They've got a beak like a um, parrot. So if you don't want to be bitten by a parrot, don't let one of these things bite you. Much the same. Anyway, I'm going to dispatch it. That will be part of my dinner and um, bait as well for King George Whiting later. Yes, it's a good start. All right, let's keep casting. I would like to catch a squid, still, if I can. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna go back down the beach again now. I've been back and forth, trying to find somewhere where the wind is favorable. We'll try that anyway. Let's head down there, see what the wind's like down there, because it's just swirling and being a pain. It's got a little sinker, a little star sinker, little hook and a bit of cuttlefish. I'm gonna cast it out onto the sand just before the weed and just sit it there, and hopefully there's some King George whiting. And we're going to land. That'll do. Something just came and grabbed it. Oh, I think I just got off. Bugger. I had a fish on. It felt alright. Felt a bit like King George. Let's try again. had a bite and I'm completely on the sand. Come on, get another nibble. Another nibble. Eat it, slurp it down. Let's check. Still bait on there. Hmm. Let's keep getting bites, but I'm not hooking up. It's a bit frustrating. I'll get bites, I'll turn the camera on and they'll stop eating. So they, are they camera shy? Maybe. Oh no, that, is that weed or a fish? Weed. Oh no. Let's see. Could be a fish. Yeah, there's a fish and a weed. We got a KG. Phew. Sick. We got one. We caught one, finally. Um, I've already killed it. I'm going to chuck it in the cooler. That's dinner to go with uh, the cuttlefish. Yes. It's always nice to catch something worth keeping. Um, I'm just going to get a bit more bait out of it in there. Fresh bit of bait. Lop it out there. 
something on. Just cast it out and I'm on pretty much straight away. I did see a fish jump. Uh, I don't think this is a herring. This is feeling like a King George. Oh, what? No, it is a herring. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, what's going on? My sink is stuck. What is going on? Sink got so stuck. That's a nice fat herring too. Okay. This is a nice little heads up. Bit of bread and butter species coming in. Fish. See what this is. Another heza maybe. If it's another heza, it's going towards the squid bait. I don't know if I can float one out though. Maybe this evening somewhere else. Looks like a herring. Oh, no, no. What is It's King George again. Oh, looks like a herring. It's a King George. Gee whiz, what a rookie. I got no idea. Another one. I'm scared to release my grip on it because it just goes ballistic and makes its way towards the water. So we'll put it in the esky, keep it cool. What do we want to do? Yeah, that's one. It's a fish anyway, that's for sure. Let's see what we got. Another one. Yeah, this one's a bit smaller. Might need to check this one. Yeah, it's legal, it's 30. So it's still size, just not a big one. Oh yeah. Come on. 45 plus kg, come on. It's gonna be... Just another kg. How good's that? We're getting a few. No monsters, but they're all, they're all size. Smallest one I caught was size as well, so you know. And yes, I'm keeping far more than I can eat tonight, but it was requested to bring some home if I could. Um, if I don't lose it. I'm just gonna prep everything for dinner and then I don't have to worry about it later on. It'll just be pull it out of a bag and cook it. So let's get everything ready. What have we got? Start off with the uh, cephalopod. Now it's been a while since I've done a cuttlefish, but they're very similar to squid. I'm just going to remove the bone first. And I managed to break the bone. But you see these things on the beach? Cuttlefish bones. Now you know where they come from if you didn't. And obviously they get huge because you'll see them like this big sometimes. This is a small cuttlefish. And I managed to burst the ink sack. That will be the ink sack there. I don't know if I want any of the head, we'll think about that. Let's give this a rinse. Try to get some of that ink off. So, the thing about the cuttlefish is, it's very similar to the squid, a bit thicker, but the tube doesn't go all the way around. On top of this, it's super thin, and then the rest of it's much thicker. That's my experience with it anyway. But that is pretty similar to uh, squid meat right there. Looks the same, tastes almost identical. A little bit sweeter, I find it actually off some of this skin so that's mostly what we want there and I might just cut away some of the head from or tear it away let's see let's get rid of the guts there's its beak there's its beak so see that that's why I didn't want to get bitten earlier 
uh, cuttlefish have a much bigger beak than a similar size squid, much bigger. The old canvas uh, knife roll does substitute as a uh, chopping board a little bit for me. You can see all the little scratches on it, but it holds up surprisingly well. This one's probably already a year or so old. So everything I'm eating will go in a bag like this and I'll add some panko to it. Because that's all tucked 100 meters down that way where I left all my cooking gear. That, and now we will scale the fish. All right, dinner's kind of half prepared. Sun will disappear behind the hill very soon. So I might flick out a few more times. Try to catch a squid still, put in a little bit more effort for it. It's just, it seems like the right territory for it. Man, it's nice. Not deep. Clearly. Go with the wind. Oh, I lost it. Bugger. I think it was an expensive jig. Oh well. Oh, I have no utensils to grab it out. Crap. Let me get a stick. Quick. Crispy. So you need tongs. I'm gonna throw half my salad mix in here. Now, on top of the uh, cuttlefish. Bit of that, so it doesn't run away. And now we'll start cooking some more. Bits of King George whiting right there that I just, I put on the rock to let them drip dry a bit. I'm gonna try a piece. Oh, honestly, I'm thinking maybe I should have cooked more. Oh, I can always clean up around too, but that's my bowl of salad and Kewpie and I can taste, I sprinkled a bit of that on there. Charbroy barbecue lemon number one. It's like a salt, pepper, lemony sort of mix. I'll try a bit of Cuttlefish, I've already had some. I just like squid, really. Especially because it was a smaller one. You stay there, bag. Yeah. All 
are you can see why they're such a highly rated fish just finished dinner got my head torch out we're going to go for a bit of a walk flick around a um, squid jig I'm just going to flick it on the heavier setup which isn't actually the squid rod but anyway um, just the one that I've been casting bait today so we'll grab that have a cast here and work our way around the coast maybe all the way back to where we got the cuttlefish see how we go and then we'll roll out the bivvy and go to sleep somewhere Gotta at least have a quick cast out here. Is that a squid? That's a squid in here over the sand. Oh, it's only just hooked. It's on the back edge of a tentacle. So that one long tentacle, that will tear off soon if I'm not careful. Heck yes, that's a squid. <laughs> we got a squid, finally. Just on the shooter tentacle. That's another one, isn't it? Feels like another one. Little one? It's not even that bad. It's not bad at all. Right, we're going for a walk. Got nothing more than a rod, a squid jig, and a Ziploc bag. Just around the corner, there was that rock that I fished from for a little while earlier today. I want to go try that again. That's about as far as I'm going to go. Not far at all. This is it. Oh, let's give it a go. You can see fish in there already, of some sort. All right, I'll probably turn this camera off and I'll turn it on if I hook up a fish, I mean a squid. Let the mozzies out.
All right, I'm just going to clean up the squid. Might as well get that over and done with while I'm here next to the water. Doing that at a house does suck a bit. And then I'll use a bit as bait. Just a little strip of a wing. All right, that's it for this trip. I uh, didn't catch anything this morning, but got a good couple of kgs yesterday and some squid on sunset, so happy with that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Cheers and see you next time.